Split. Well, howdy doody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and goyles. I'm Silent Sneaker Zero Nine, and last time we left off, we were about to go inside this Split. camera shop, but for the past few minutes, this guy in overalls has been staring at me like nobody's business. What do you say we get the heck away from him? Because he's kind of creeping me out. Good lord, excuse me. I don't know what that fart was about. That was just like a, oh, like a cry for help. So in here we have this guy. Why, young sir? I must say, you seem to be in possession of a very fine picto box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? Don't you know it? There could be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time, look around. I implore you, heart. Got it. So we gotta go check this guy's, like, little gallery out here. It's actually pretty cool. You can break the jars for some extra rupees if you want to. But we're not gonna do that. Ooh, wow. It's got, like, a whole display set up with the ropes and everything. Nice little carpet, too. Man, oh man. <laughs> uh, these some fine least not pictographs, you must admit. Jeez, dude, where'd you come from? Oh, <laughs> but come now. You needn't be so surprised, my young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. It's quite an amusing diversion. Think nothing about it. Uh, I'm gonna watch you, buddy. Especially with your squinting eyes, man. By the way, the pictographs you see at decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy. You see, in my younger days, I was tireless, sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. What is this? Well, those are creatures called choo-choos. Oh, okay, so we know that. That potion shop guy told us a little bit about that, yeah. We know about this already. Why, there is even said to be extremely rare species of them known as the blue choo-choo jelly. It is only under very unusual circumstances that they have ever been sighted. Uh, you would be most lucky to ever come across one, young sir. Hmm, we'll keep our peepers look for that, or pe peepers alert for that. What is this? It's a nice little, like, summer home or something. Okay, so southeast here. There was a very dignified butler standing before the door, and I snapped his photo without even thinking. Um, that aside, I'm certain that this is someone's private cabana. Ah, uh, that's why I thought summer. Oh, hey, that was a nice shot. So he still has a pictograph. What is that to the right of it, though? Oh, that's the flash. Hello, I thought that was like a, like a mini Easter egg, and I was like the first one to discover it. Wait, what is that? Strange platform rising up from the sea seemed to claw at the sky. Makes an even stranger still hoot. Oh, I bet. I wonder if such things still remain out there on the high seas, lonely on the waves. Ah, oh, if only I had the chance. I would love to see these things once again. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it, dude. Oh, wait a minute. We know this. Isn't it a finally snapshot? I took it out of my younger days. It was Outset Island. Dude! That's my hometown. I didn't even know you were there. Must have been before I was born. Hmm, yes indeedy it is. I just missed that part where he was talking about a fine young lass. Oh, I suppose she's probably not as young as she used to be these days. Ah, hmm, theory time, guys and gals. I wonder if Lenzo had the hots for a grandma. Who knows? I mean, that's something I want to think about, per se, but, you know, it's possible. What is this creepy thing here? Hmm. Okay. So it's a dark night, I'm guessing. This foul should build and mist and fading in and out of sight like something of another world. Yes, my young sir, tis none other than the ghost ship. The rumors I've heard tell of a man who researched the reaches of the sea where the ghost ship faded in and out of sight, and that he drew a map of its movements. Boy, that's some dedication. But it's said that as soon as the man had finished drawing the lines of ghosts the map, he died most unexpected death. Chilling, truly chilling. It's very, uh, ominous. Ooh. Yeah, just slobbered on myself. That's lovely. Okay, so this is a ghost ship. We will not be messing with that for quite some time, but a lot of the stuff you see in here we will be definitely explore or coming across as we explore the islands and whatnot when we start setting off to sail. What the heck is this thing? Looks really like it's disinterested in life itself. Oh yeah, the Triangle Islands. There are a total of three Triangle Islands, Northern, Southern, and Easter. Each of them has a statue such as this standing on its shores. Hmm, definitely take note of the little marking on its head. We'll probably be seeing some of those later, but yeah, for now it means nothing to us. Is this what I, this is Forsaken Fortress, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of sending chills down my spones. It is! Oh my gosh! This place lies northwest of our fair isle, but it has been enveloped in filthy dark clouds of late. What are we to do against the silent evil that lingers there? <laughs> Burp, hiccup, not even think about it, pretend it doesn't exist, stick your head in the ground? Oh no. It feels as if evil that is not of this world lies in wait there, biding its time. You have no idea. Sorry for clicking my tongue so much, by the way. Hmm. I just had me some ranch Doritos, and then I gulped down some Mountain Dew, and it's like... It's my body's way of probably saying, hey, salt much? Sodium much? I might want to get some water, and I'm probably going to do that in a second here, but... For the time being, we'll go ahead and continue. So once you've taken a look at his gallery, you don't probably have to look at all the pictures, but... You know, I'll figure I'll go ahead and take time to do that. Oh, you see, young sir, I have been studying picto boxes since I was but a lad. My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible pictograph capabilities is at long last nearing fruition. 
Young sir, I hesitate to ask, but could you become my assistant? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> sure, let's do it. Oh, ho, ho, really, really and truly. My heart leaps at your enthusiasm. But I feel I must tell you, the path of Ma and his assistant of mine must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whosoever takes on the role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever command I may issue and promptly complete it without hesitation. Okay. Spill it. What do I gotta do? Absolutely, man. I'm, I'm game for this. HA! <laughs> what was that? That was a laugh. <laughs> oh, dang. It's not thunder outside. Ooh. <clears throat> Very well, then. First of three commands, on the dawn of the day, you must complete all three of these tests. I guess that basically means we gotta complete them in one day. Alright, now then. <clears throat> My first command. A love letter. Do you know what that is, young sir? No. Nope. Nope. Never heard of it. Don't even know what that is. What is it, a love letter? Hmm. I don't know. It is a collection of words of love! Well, that really narrows it down. You know, love, letter, words, letters, combined... Or... Never mind. Somewhere in this town, there is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the gold lesson of unrequited passion, and continues to write letters of doomed love. Ah, uh, that's rather dramatic. I am certain the object of this sadly one-sided affection is a, in quite a quandary over the matter. I am the my, I am of the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. Damn, listen to this vocabulary this guy's using. It's quite rich, I have to say. I must have physical evidence, unfortunately. Thus, this is where you come in. Sounds like an easy task, does it not? Rightly so. If you hope to be my assistant, you must perform this task with ease. You got it, dude. Alright, so, you know, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and clarify. You do not have to do this at all, you can just completely skip over this, but because I'm 100% in this game, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, first things first, let's get our Picto Box out. And then, what you wanna do is, you're gonna make your way all the way down toward the front entrance of Windfall. Like, almost opposite of the bomb shop, actually, the one with the overpriced bombs, of course. Because this is the only mailbox in town, and what you're gonna do is, you're gonna hang out off to the side. I usually like to hang out on the dock here. Whip out the Picto Box, zoom in just a bit, but not too much, because you want to be able to get the full shot in. And then you're going to wait for a guy that's going to be walking up to the mailbox to mail off something, so... Pardon me while I wait a little bit. Oh man, I gotta rip one. Oh, whew, excuse me. Oh crap, I hope he doesn't hear it. Oh gosh, it stinks. Alright, so this is the guy that actually... He was talking about mailing off letters. What you want to do, wait till he... Oh, wait till he's finished, and... Snap of the photo! Yeah! Right as he's mailing it off. Nice. Alright, so from here... We take the photo that we just took, and we go ahead and just... You literally just present the camera, and then you go ahead and select the photo. You don't have to talk to them. oh ho! Now this is a finely snapped pictograph indeed! Hmm. They say love is blind, but what could be he, he be thinking mailing all these letters? Guy's got passion. He's probably got some poetry, too. I should not really cue him, though. <laughs> this reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. <laughs> Memories of those bittersweet... <clears throat> Let's move on, please. Ah, oh, yes, yes, I digress. Very good, young sir. I must congratulate you passing your first test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. What are you gonna use it for? You're gonna, like, you got, like, scrapbook and you're gonna scrapbook the island? Oh, whatever. Let's move on to the second test. Now, for the second test, you must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and jumps at even the slightest of surprises. I need you to capture the instant of pure fear on his individual's face in a pictograph. So, tell me, think you're up for the task, young sir? Psh! Child's play, we can do this. Although I question your methods in solving people's problems. Flog the person of their fear? That just sounds like you're... What is, what is, what is that expression? How does it go again? Say, spare the... See, spare the rod, beat the child? Yeah, that's that's the freaking thing. That just sounds kind of, like, counterproductive, but I don't know. 
Different people, different things, different methods. Anywho, what you want to do, <clears throat> excuse me, hello, is come up here where this guy is, and we didn't actually go up to the milk bar here. You can talk to this lady too. Welcome. Oh my, you're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. You just feel free to look around. You're not gonna serve us any milk? What the heck, man? I thought this was a milk bar. What the fudge? Anyway, this guy over here, what you want to do is you either want to climb on the table and knock those cups over, or just run into the table. Then you want to step back, whip out your picto box. My buttons stick in here. Ugh, dude! And then you want to, like, snap a photo, but this, this can be a little tricky, I'll admit. But this is nothing compared to the third challenge he's got for us. There we go. Okay, now back up, whip it out. Jeez, that sounds nasty. No, that's not good. Dude, I'm gonna kick your ass if you don't give me give me what I want. Gimme, give gimme! Give oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Up, oh, up. Oh. There it is. I think that'll do. Here you go, dude. Have at it. Oh, 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 oh. now this is also a finely snapped pictograph indeed. Clearly, this individual must be the town's most timid of denizens. Fear is his constant companion. I cannot complain, young sir. You have passed in a most admirable manner. Say, is it me, or is this chap quite the striking individual? <laughs> I wonder if they're related. Because usually related people would say something like that. Very good, young sir. <laughs> yes, yes, this means you have passed my second test. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Oh, man, come on, man. I'm trying to do this, and you're going to sit there and fart around. Oh, shut up. I don't want to hear your nastiness. Oh, God, and it stinks in here. Oh, it smells like butt. Mm, very good, sir. Now that you're done farting around and stinking up my shop, how about you get on with your last test? <clears throat> Open your heart and listen carefully. Someone down is a couple, a man and a woman, whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts of the other, and yet for reasons unknown, the two have never spoken. Oh, that's, that's a shame. That really is. That happens a lot, honestly, in real life, though. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other in the road, they each steal a brief, furtive glance of the other, but they suppress the longing in their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go on any longer, for the sake of the town and my own desire to help these two poor young souls. I shall become Cupid, Archer of Love. These two are timid burglars in the House of Love, and you must capture a, a pictograph of them, thinking furtive thoughts. Okay, now this actually sounds like it'd be genuinely a tough one to do, but it really is not that bad. <laughs> Does this challenge not excite you? Good luck, young sir. Alright, well... <clears throat> it does have its slight challenges, but it's really quite easy. We don't actually have to, like, do anything. We just have to wait patiently again. Except this time we have, um... Uh, a little obstacle. <laughs> what you want to do... Um, the lady in question that was he was talking about is actually this lady over here in orange. And what you want to do is you're going to wait and snap a photo. And it's going to be... Uh, hold on, let me get a good shot here. Uh, it's got to include her to the left. And, well, it can, be, it can be on the right side, I suppose, depending on your angle. But I usually have her on the left. And there's going to be a guy that's going to walk up. And basically, as soon as he walks up and he stops and pauses... The both of them are going to turn their heads, and that's how you're going to do this shot, actually. Now, the challenge, as I said, if you sit here long enough, these killer bee, the gang of killer bees is actually going to get in the way. Because they're like, oh, hey, bud, how you doing? They're going to start, like, circling around you, messing you up. <clears throat> like they are now. Actually, are they... No, okay, they just walked past me. That's strange. But yeah, this can be kind of a pain in the butt, but... But. But. <laughs> I'm saying a lot of butts lately. It's like, I, I like big butts and I can't, nah, nah, you over this can't deny that when a girl walks in a little bit of waist and around the thing get facing, you'll get, ooh, okay, we're going to stop. See you guys when this guy walks up. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the, whoa, hey. Well, uh, Davy Crockett's got some good taste. Arr, she's quite the looker, huh? And she's also got good taste. Davy Crockett's quite the uh, interesting fellow. Anyway, I gotta stop being weird. What did you go to school for, dude? Seriously, where's your education at? You're speaking nonsense, you're going in the wrong direction, just... What even? Ugh. I would cut this out, but it's like... <laughs> there's not like a whole lot of video footage I'm gonna have for y'all, really, because... Like, all I'm gonna do is just do this little pictograph side quest, and then... 
There's like maybe one other thing I'll do, but other than that, I'm just gonna end the video off. Spoilers! Yeah, sorry if you were if y'all were hoping for something more. Alright, alright, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. He just he basically told you like <clears throat> tips if you're having trouble getting the pictograph shots that he wants. Alright, so give it to him, yeah. Oh, oh this is a finally snapped pictograph indeed! I had no idea these two would get along so splendidly. You can see the love there, hidden but thriving. Even I, who have lived in this town for so many long years, did not realize in the slightest of extent of their passion. You have done well, good sir. I shall probably take this pictograph from you and use it most efficiently. Again, I don't know what the hell he does with these pictures, but I'm guessing he's a scrapper. Now then, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I have set out to you. I hate saying the word tasks. It is so hard to say. Because I sound so stupid when I say it. It's like... Ks -ks -ks. It sounds really nasty. My doubts about you are all cleared up. I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Silentus. And to reward you further for your fine efforts, I offer you this. The elderly lady next door tells me it is something that has quite a bit of value of sorts. Look what I got. I got a joy pendant. Woo! So you're probably thinking, like, oh, you did all that for a joy pendant? Can't you just, like, you know, get those a lot easily? A lot more easily? You are correct. <laughs> okay, let me see if he actually says what I want him to say, because he's supposed to tell you something really cool, actually. Oh, my assistant! Allow me to a brief query. What are you, for that guy from Pepperan? Do you perchance know about pictographs with color? Mmm, I've heard of them. I don't have one, though. Yes, I have researched this concept for many years, and at long last, I understand it! A stronger light is needed to imbue color in the pictograph. No normal light will do. In fact, normal light must be overcome. Color pictography requires a light of very brightest intensity. Alright, so what do I gotta do? Go visit the light bulb shop? I've heard of tales of a mystical creature in the place called Forest Haven. It is said to be the tiniest of creatures. One that unleashes an otherworldly light. Oh. Fairies, huh? Interesting. Yes, well, in order to do this, you need an empty bottle in order to capture one of these creatures. As an aid, do you by chance have one? Nope, don't have one. But, like I said about the choo-choo jelly stuff, we will eventually have that. But that was the main reason why, is because we wanted to set that up, because we're going to be coming back here later, probably. I don't know how much later, but... If you want to get, like, the the second upgrade to the Pictobox, because, spoilers, the Pictobox can actually be upgraded, um, you need to actually visit a Forest Haven, which we will be seeing much later. Or we won't be seeing until much later. But anyway, enough of that crap right now. What I want to do right now uh, is figure out where the hell I'm going. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. Oh, okay, up these stairs. Now, you remember that guy that we, like, pissed off in the last video? That rich guy, that stuffy, snobby guy? Well, we're actually going to pay him a visit. And if you also remember, we talked to that guy that was standing out by the tree, and he talked about how his daughter Maggie was captured. We actually did see both that uh, his daughter and this guy's daughter, and here he's going to tell you a little bit about it. Hmm? I wonder... <laughs> I wonder if a boy like you will do. It's difficult to tell. Yes, difficult. You see, my one and only daughter, Myla, was taken away from me to a frightening place called Forsaken Fortress. I have asked many to rescue her, <laughs> but it seems to be too difficult to voyage to that cursed place. Oh, to my sweet Myla, to see her sweet face again, my precious little daughter. I worry so over her welfare. I can't recall the last time I slept more than a week. I sincerely wonder about the wisdom of asking you. Hmm. But it would lend a hand to help rescue my pre precious daughter. Or, I'm sorry, he asked, would I? My bad. Ooh. Sure, dude. Oh, you brave boy to take on this task. I assure you, if you do ask her, I will pay you as much money as it takes. I'd give my entire fortune for her safety. Yeah. Sudden, like, dynamic character change much. We got, after, like, all the payments we had to give this guy. <laughs> He turns out he actually has quite the heart about for his daughter. Always nice and sweet when they have characters like that in this game. Like, the lot of dynamic changes and whatnot. Anywho, if you climb down the balcony, which I don't recommend in real life because that was rather dangerous, you'll find a chest with 20 rupees. And now we have... we went from 200 to 20 and now we just went up to 40 rupees. 
Unfortunately, we really won't be able to use these rupees for anything, so I don't know why I'm, like, picking it up, but, you know, hey, it's there, might as well get it. Alright, so, that aside, we've been at this for quite a while, actually. I don't know how much, like, time I have. I've got a lot of cutting to do, I know that, but... Anywho, uh, in the next video, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, girls, well, I'm having a hard time saying girls, apparently, we will be taking our boat friend here for a ride. We're going to be using the sail we recently just acquired. And we're going to sail wherever he wants us to sail to. So, actually, I think he wanted us to sail in the easterly direction, but anyway. We'll find out in the next video. Thanks for watching. Love y'all bunches. Please don't let's tail slot, and see ya next time. Peace!